So they put some new games under the monthly games for PlayStation and one of them was Power Wash Simulator. I saw this and thought it would be a swell time to try and get the platinum trophy on it. Uh, 43 hours later and I can confidently say that it, it was not fun at all. In fact, this was absolutely horrible. Anyways, today I'm going to be eating the Platinum Trophy for Power Wash Simulator. The game has a total of 41 trophies included, and the biggest challenge of it is just beat the entire career mode because multiple levels take upwards of four hours to complete. We begin the grind by doing the very first level, which just has a big old blue van absolutely smothered in dirt, diarrhea, and many other illicit substances, I imagine. But this is by far one of the easiest levels in the game, and only took me around four minutes to do, which is extremely, extremely light in this game. And after I cleaned it entirely, I received my first trophy of the day. Next level had you clean this entire backyard, which is quite the uptick in difficulty already. This is sort of how they do it in this game, however. First, they give you a vehicle to clean and then smother you with bigger and bigger houses or buildings. Anyways, you don't get trophies for every single level beaten, but I did finish this one after a total time of one hour nearly exactly. Also, I should mention that when you play this godforsaken game, time sort of slows down because you are quite literally just power washing buildings the entire time. And also the devs have super messed up bugs and there's nearly never music and some features in the future get ruined as you will see. <laughs> Hey. But the next level featured an actual house this time, and it's pretty self-explanatory. Clean the house. Thankfully, you don't have to go inside of it or anything, so it's just the exterior. But it still took me another hour to do, and I already want to put in my two-week notice, since this is starting to feel like an actual 9-to-5 job. But this time when I beat it, I did receive a trophy for beating such level. So at least I can feel a tad bit accomplished with my efforts. Anyways, the next level was in this playground, and this is the only one so far that I could maybe believe that it actually looks that dirty. As we all know, kids are disgusting and dirty, just like your girlfriend. That's what I'm saying. But a hard part about this level was the dang yellow areas on the ground because the highlighting feature to see if you missed any dirt is yellow. Meaning at some points, I was just spraying water around like an old man with no clue where my right ass cheek is. This level is definitely the worst one so far and one of my least favorites in the game. It ended up taking me a total of 1 hour and 30 something minutes to complete, which is just insane. Also, I cleaned a golf cart which literally took 2 minutes and I'm confused as to why they even have that level. It's retarded. The next level is actually on another house again and it's pretty similar to the first real house we did in the fact that you only need to clean the outside. But before I cleaned it all, I got a trophy for doing the pavements first on the house. I was also not aware that this game's trophy list had things to do in nearly every single level, which makes me suffer in the future. So anyways, I then spent another hour plus of time slaving over this dumbass house. Also, what the hell could you have even done to make it look in such a way? I have no clue, but I don't even think science could explain it. Next level was a damn shoe house. Not sure what idiot made this, but it most definitely smelled like your mother. Anyways, this one was rough just because of the angles you had to get in to actually be able to clean it. So overall, it just pissed me off because it's so stupid and it also took me 30 minutes to do, which is time that I could have spent completely different and most definitely better. I then had to clean some vintage car that is probably older than I am, but thankfully it only took like 10 minutes to do, so I didn't age that much. We then had to do one of the longest and hardest levels of the game yet. My car. The skate park level. This level has you clean an entire skate park of the grease and substances of children everywhere. Overall, this is one of the longest in the game, and it's also very, very boring. It took me just under two whole hours to clean this place. I feel like I don't express how long that actually is. Two hours. That's insane when all you're doing is power washing a damn skate park in a video game, for Christ's sake. Thankfully, however, we did get a trophy once we completed it, so I didn't throw myself out of a window. Oh my god! I then got a peaceful level where you just had to clean some autistic bike, and it wasn't bad. The next level has you at some dude's house, and you do the usual job clean that hoe. Bruh. It took me an hour and I no longer want to play this game. Next, I had to clean an entire fire station in this giant tower side building creation. I thought my life couldn't possibly become any worse, but this really showed me how you can always go lower no matter where you are. And I spent two hours cleaning this place. It got to the point where I no longer have the ability to create a smile out of my facial structure and I am now seeking therapeutic help. The game then sent us on an adventure to clean numerous, numerous vehicles. I went through and had to clean a load of cars, bikes, trucks, bands. It was a mess. And it even had us clean a helicopter, which once finished, I then got a trophy. The next level then had us go and clean the mayor's house, which was plastered in stuff. And once I finished it, I got a trophy also. I then had to clean some carousel circus thing, which was extremely annoying because of all the corners it had, and I wish it could have been more straight, if you know what I mean. That took a while, but honestly, I can't be bothered to remember how long these levels are anymore. They all just suck.
And then in the middle of me cleaning this treehouse level thing, which was the longest so far in the game, it got an update. So I had to restart all of my progress on the level and redo it all. This same update also screwed up a lot of other things in the game, which hurt me later on. But I think overall, I spent like four hours total on this level alone because I had to redo like 65% of it. Safe to say I despise this game fully now. Before, it was like an ex-girlfriend's level, but now it's my entire soul. I then cleaned a drill, weird-ass cult house, an actual bathroom, more circus poop, and a fighter jet, which I would like to hop into and head over to Power Watch Simulator headquarters. Who, by the way, got publishing from Square Enix. You know, uh, that studio that made the Avengers game. Uh, not a shocker, this turned out to be another banger. Anyways, I had to clean a boat next, and then a weird cat monster truck, until finally reaching a level where I had to clean an entire Ferris wheel. Thankfully though, after like 10 hours of pain and agony, I received a trophy for my endless suffering. And we have now reached the point in the game where we actually got substantial amounts of trophies for once. Next level, I'm pretty sure I did a bonus objective for a trophy, but I was basically cleaning some Mars rover, and they even bothered to hide half of the objective off to the side out of view from me. So I had to wander around until seeing it and then cleaned it, which gave me a trophy. I then decided to go back and try to clean up parts of the game that I missed, which was pretty much every single trophy. And I could have gotten them all in my first playthrough, which it really just enhances my enjoyment of the game. The first thing I went after was to get five gold medals on challenge rounds in the game. These are just levels we already did, but you have a certain time or water constraint on it. And I got my first gold medal from cleaning a golf cart on the speedrun challenge. I then went and focused solely on doing speedrun levels for vehicles because I found those to be the easiest by far compared to the water specific challenges. This still turned out to be pretty hard and I struggled a tad bit, but after around an hour or so I managed to get 5 gold medals for the trophy. I then bought a ton of upgrades and whatnot for some more trophies in the shop section of the game. There was then a super stupid trophy where you had to clean the entire first vehicle using only the red nozzle, which is the smallest one in the game. But at least now we know for sure that they hate us, and I'm glad the feeling is mutual. I then had to replay the second mission and clean each and every stone on the walkway before anything else. Pretty self-explanatory and got another trophy. The next trophy, however, low-key made me angry and I started to laugh at myself over how stupid it really was. You had to shoot the soccer ball up this slider in the playground, but for the life of me, the ball just didn't want to be a ball and I lost it a tad bit trying this for like 20 minutes straight. I then had to replay the entire first house mission in the game and not clean the gutters until the end. A very weird objective to be honest, but also quite hard because I had to spend an hour again Again, just cleaning the damn house. Gotta give respect to the power washers out there. This job sucks. And I then had to do the same task on the shoe level, but instead save the soul for the end and clean that all the way up. Back on the fire station level this time, and there was another trophy for only cleaning things with a red nozzle. Man, these developers really don't like us. What is even that? Thankfully, the next trophy was just for shooting a soccer ball out of the pit in the skate park, and it was pretty chill. I then went and cleaned every single window and mirror on the fire truck before anything else, which could have very easily been done on my first initial playthrough. But because I generated the trophy list like I usually do, I ended up suffering yet again, which is just this entire game. So I was feeling sad and decided to just sit on this gay bike for a few seconds to cheer me up. Returning back to that treehouse level that made me want to die and I had to clean all the lanterns first before anything else. Another super easy simple trophy that should have been done first if not for my negligence. I returned to the helicopter mission this time and cleaned all the blades off of it before anything else once more. This reoccurring theme is starting to piss me off, I hate this game. But I got a trophy after for finally buying cosmetic items which are almost as dumb as being dumb. I then had to do one of the worst replay levels and reclean the entire carousel level without turning it off. It pissed me off extra since this is super easy to do first, but I just didn't, so <laughs> yeah, that's great. Ah. I then had to clean some other level this time, but if you clean it all and don't shoot the gnome off the top, you will also receive a trophy in addition to I AIDS. I also got sent back into the poof bathroom and had to leave the toilets last and then clean them for a trophy. This game is literally sh but I also had to clean such poop off of this tower thing and only clean the lights off of it. So now the poop is extra visible to all. I then cleaned the alien modifications off of this jet, the tires off of this monster truck, and took a sweet little ride with a gnome around this ferris wheel. After that I also completed an extremely difficult minigame of the circus fair thing, which was almost impossible. And then I ran out of missable trophies to do and I had to continue the story again, wanting to die once more. Every single level now takes at least around two hours to do, and it's just horrible. But the first one back was the subway for me, and there's a trophy on it for cleaning all of the advertisements off of it first, which I did because that's super easy like all the others I failed to do at first. I then spent, as I said, two hours on this level, cleaning it and it sucked. I then got to a level with some ancient statue on it and had to shoot all these buckets down around the area. 
which I did, but then had to groovingly clean the entire statue and I also wanted to die like usual. I then bought every single item in the game and got this trophy after that for pain and suffering. And I had a trophy which needed you to only use the white nozzle on this ancient hand level. And I did that, but the, the trophy didn't pop, so uh, what the fuck. Anyways, we also made it to a level with some gay boat on it, and if you clean nothing besides the deck, stairs, and your butthole, you get a trophy. I was then on the final level for the game, which is by far the longest. You have to clean this massive temple with two floors inside and out. It took me a solid three straight hours of playing with all gas, no breaks to beat this level. And once I did, the credits began to roll but they crashed. Uh, this trophy was supposed to pop dream them, by the way. So uh, with the new Power Wash Simulator update, it glitched out that trophy again. This has happened before, and it's sort of a reoccurring theme for the game whenever you get an update. Anyways, I made sure to watch the credits again in the menu, but I received no trophy for it, which is just great. So I just spent 43 hours of my life going for this trophy, uh, just to have it like actually not work in the end. This, this game, it, it just hurts. It hurts. I also think I spent more time on it than I did on Cyberpunk. <laughs>